I want to go over the matches for the upper core, mid core, and low core player. Thanks to Right Balance and RightBalance.com. So let's go for the upper core first, the grip. The grip is going to be the weakest, the left hand and the right hand, the weakest on the golf club. And an upper core player could have their right hand on top or in a weak position. When it comes to the pivot, the upper core player is going to turn the right hip the most and move the least amount laterally. When it comes to the trail elbow, the upper core player is going to have the trail elbow behind the rib cage coming into the ball because of the early release. At impact, the upper core player is going to have the least amount of rotation in their hips, less than 35 degrees and they are going to have the earliest release or release point which might be just a foot past impact where the butt of the club is pointing at the center of the chest and both arms are relatively straight so the upper core will have the earliest release when it comes to the mid core players their match their grip their grip is going to be stronger than the upper core players grip and weaker than the low core players grip. The mid core players pivot is they are going to be more of a center pivot. They are going to have more lateral motion to their right foot than a upper core player and less lateral motion than a low core player. When it comes to the trail elbow coming into the ball, they're going to have it more forward than the upper core player and not as forward as the low core player. The hips at impact are going to be about 45 degrees rotated, which is tour average. And we're going to see that picture that a lot of people think are textbook, where we have the forward shaft lean, the handle forward, and the club is not caught up with the left arm yet. And because of that, the mid-core player's release point is going to be further around past impact. Could be as early as here. Somewhere in this range is where they are going to have their trail arm straighten. The low-core player is going to have the strongest grip. The right hand is going to be the most underneath and the left hand is going to be the most turned over. We're going to see the most of the emblem on your glove with the low core player. That would be a Dustin Johnson grip. When it comes to the pivot for the low core player, they're going to move the most laterally on the backswing. And I know I haven't moved that much more than I did for the mid core pivot, but the low core player is going to have the most lateral motion on the backswing with the least amount of right hip turn. The trail elbow for the low core player is going to be the most forward. I physically can't do it, but a low core player would have that elbow and right hand very far forward and up in their chest. The low core player is going to have the most rotation in the hips the handle, the most forward, and the most angle between the left arm and the shaft at impact. And they will have the latest release of the right arm. The right arm will straighten the latest. In Dustin Johnson's case, his right arm isn't straightening till the shaft's almost parallel to the ground here. So, and look at the rotation in the body. So putting this all together, the upper core player will have the weakest grip, their pivot, they will have the most turn in the trail hip with the least amount of lateral motion. The trail elbow will be behind the rib cage, the hips at impact will be the least rotated, and they will have the earliest release. When we look at the low core player, they will have the strongest grip, their pivot will have the least rotation with the most lateral motion, 
The trail elbow will be the most forward or up in their rib cage. Their hips at impact will be the most rotated and they will have the latest release. And then the mid-core player, they're the hybrid between the upper core player and the low core player. So their grip is going to be stronger than an upper core player, weaker than a low core. Their pivot I put in between. They are going to have some lateral motion and some rotary motion, but they will not turn as much as an upper core player, and they will not move as laterally as a low core player. The trail elbow in between, so it's going to be probably just slightly in front of the right hip coming into the ball. The hips at impact, tour average, they're going to be about 45 degrees rotated. And the release, they're going to be in between that upper core and low core player. Here's my swing as an upper core player. For more information, please visit rightbalance.com or larryrinker.com. Thanks.